Inside the mysterious disappearance of Brian Schaefer, the medical student who vanished from an Ohio bar. In the early morning hours of April 1st, 2006 to seven-year-old Brian Schaefer was captured by CCTV cameras entering the Ugly Tuna Saluna and hasn't been seen since, as a second-year medical student at Ohio State Rian Schaefer had a bright future ahead of him. But that all changed on April 1st, 2006, when a night on the town to celebrate the beginning of spring break ended in his disappearance. Schaefer was last seen leisurely bar hopping with his roommate, when in the company of many bar goers and just before 2 a.m. he inexplicably vanished, the night when Brian Schaefer's disappear. Brian Schaefer is born on February 25, 1979 in Pickerington, Ohio. Brian Randall Schaefer was a responsible son and student. After graduating high school in 1997, he attended Ohio State University, OSU, where he later began his studies at the OSU College of Medicine in 2004. As Schaefer told his peers, however, his real dream was to start a band. He was drawn to the tropical lifestyle of Jimmy Buffet and adored Pearl Jam, enough to get their logo tattooed on his arm. He met his girlfriend Alexis Wagoner in 2006. She was also a second-year medical school student. Those closest to the couple believed he was planning to propose to her. During their spring break trip to Miami that was planned just before Schaefer's disappearance, Brian Schaefer's family was first struck with tragedy in 2006, when his mother died of bone cancer. Then on March 31, 2006, Brian Schaefer and his roommate William Clint Florence walked to the Ugly Tuna. Saluna Bar in Columbus University District eager to blow off steam from their spring finals. Around 10 p.m., Schaefer called his girlfriend to confirm their trip and to tell her that he loved her. Wagoner was headed to visit her parents in Toledo before reuniting with Schaefer on Monday morning. After shots and beers at the Ugly Tuna, the two men ambled to the Arena District and Short North, where they met Meredith Reed Florence's friend, who offered to drive them back to the Ugly Tuna. As security footage outside the Ugly Tuna confirmed, all three of them rode the escalator to the bar's second-story entrance at 1.15 a.m. For some reason, Schaefer re-emerged outside before 2 o'clock a.m. and was seen chatting easily with two women in their 20s before vanishing. Florence and Reed tried calling him several times, but to no avail and went home when the bar closed. Calls from his father Randy Schaefer and Wagner also went unanswered all weekend. On Monday morning, Brian Schaefer missed his flight. He was designated as a missing person that day. The fruitless search and eerie CCTV footage. During the first few days of his disappearance, up to 50 cops searched for him at any one time. Schaefer's friends and relatives were questioned and everyone except his roommate, who refused past lie detector tests. For some reason those two women he was seen chatting with were not asked to take tests. Wagner reportedly called his cell phone every day, but it went straight to voicemail until one night in September when it actually rang three times. But Schaefer's wireless provider said that may have been a computer glitch. Additionally, his phone was not GPS enabled, so its location could not be determined, but a ping from the phone was detected at a cell tower, 14 miles northwest of Columbus. Though Pearl Jam's Eddie Vedder spoke of the disappearance of Brian Schaefer at a Cincinnati concert, the Columbus Police Department remained baffled by the case despite the evidence they did have. The final footage of Brian Schaefer from the security cameras at the Ugly Tuna clearly showed him walking off screen and back toward the bar entrance before disappearing entirely. It was certainly possible that the camera simply missed Schaefer before he left the scene, but one camera panned continuously around while the other was manually operated, and while the bar also had one other exit, it led to a chaotic construction site. Investigators then wondered if that meant perhaps Schaefer had disappeared on purpose. He could have changed his clothes or left through the exit that led to the construction site. But Schaefer's family has always insisted that there was no motive for him to fake his disappearance. And indeed it seemed he had more to look forward to than to escape from. Now you are thinking where Brian Schaefer's case stands today. The last footage of Brian Schaefer seen entering the bar, but not leaving, when neither Brian Schaefer's credit cards, bank accounts, nor cell phone were used a single time in more than a year, his family began to lose hope that he might still be alive. Schaefer's remaining family consists only of his younger brother, who is still searching for him. Hope briefly came 
and went in 2020 when a photo of what looked like an American man who was homeless in Tijuana, Mexico, and who bore an uncanny resemblance to Schaefer went viral. After rigorous facial analysis, however, the FBI determined that it wasn't him. If alive Brian Schaefer would be 42 years old, the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation released a digital mock-up of his face to reflect that age progression in hopes that someone might miraculously spot him should he still be alive. For anyone who does Central Ohio Crime Stoppers has offered a $100,000 reward. So viewers, this was the horrible story of the medical student who vanished from an Ohio bar. Viewers, today it has been 18 years since the boy disappeared and he has not been found and the police are still searching for him. Friends, I wonder how someone can suddenly disappear from a bar. What do you say about this? Tell me in the comment box. If you like this story, please like this video and subscribe my channel for more amazing horrible real stories. And do not forget to press the bell icon. Take care of yourself and I meet you in a new video.